Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be solving 959A. Hach Moth and Ehat and the Even Odd Game. I can't even pronounce your name, so I'm not gonna lie out here. Alright. So I went ahead and I read this problem and um at first I was like, wait, is there something really special about this? And it turns out it's not that special, alright? Uh, this is probably one of the easier problems I have gotten so far. So the problem states that uh, Ahmad and Isa play a game called the Even Odd Game. Ihab chooses his favorite integer n and then they take turns. Starting from Ahmad, in each player's turn, he has to choose an integer a and subtract it from n such that uh, a is less than or equal to n. If it's Hakmos 10, a has to be even, but if it's Ahab's turn, a has to be odd. If the current player can choose any number satisfying the condition, he loses. Can you determine the winner if they both play optimally? So the input is going to be from 1 to 10 to the 9th and um, it's uh, the number at the beginning of the game all right so the thing is that this is that um, Hachmoth right is going to have the first turn and for Hachmoth if the number is actually um, even then he is going to pick that number because it's the only even number right and it's if he picks the even number, then there is no more numbers to pick from. If the number is odd, then um, Ehab is going to get that because after he picks the odd number, there is no more numbers to pick from. All right. So this problem is a little bit, you really have to use your intuition to solve this problem because you're thinking like, hey, okay, if the number is, is odd, right, and I pick that number, um, do I like decrement the number by one to make it, you know, um, if it's even, do I decrement by one to make it odd? And they can pick the odd number and I can decrement that to make that even again. But this is not what it's actually saying, right? Um, so it's saying that they have to pick a number, right? That is actually between one and n. So meaning that they can actually pick n. So the number was two, right? They can pick two and then that would satisfy the turn and they would just win right there and then, all right? You don't have to actually go decrement, increment, decrement, increment. All right, so with that said and done, let's go ahead and um, write some code for this and then we can um, submit that. So this is probably gonna be the easiest problem I've solved so far. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's uh, do some uh, includes and like always we're gonna do uh, stdio.h and let's just do a type def. Um, let's do unsign long, long, int and ull. Now let's go ahead and define main and let's go ahead and return zero. All right, so we just need to collect our input so we can say ull uh, input. All right. And then uh, we can do a scanf by using capitals. All right, do a percent LLU and then uh, taking our input. All right, so we just got to do two things. Um, we're going to say that uh, if uh input and one hello you so if we get an even number then we're just gonna go ahead and print um half month and if we get an even an odd number then it's, it's going to be e half so we could just do an if else so let's all right, I know what's going on with me today. But, all right, so it's, if we get that, we're just gonna do a printf 
and so we're going to print um, Mahmoud. I think that's how you say it, right? Mahmoud. I'm not sure. All right. And you know what? If that's the case, let's just go ahead and return zero here. All right. Otherwise, it's going to be ehab, so we can just print out um, ehab here. So let's do print f. And it's going to be ehab. Ehab. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. And what is this saying? Return is spelled wrong. Okay. Fix that. Uh, let's run this. So if we have the number one, it should say, all right. So that make an error so let's actually go ahead and not this and run that so if we hit one it should be ehab and if we type in two then it should be half math half math all right so that's that should be the logic for this so let's go ahead and submit this so let's uh, copy it, head back to court forces, go to the submit, and uh, okay, that's fine. And let's paste this here. All right, and let's uh, let me make this a little bigger. All right, and let's just submit. All right, so there we go. So, okay, so uh, it's been accepted. So just like I thought, all we gotta do is pick the number. If the number is even, we give it to the guy who actually even belongs to, and if it's odd, we give it to the guy that odd belongs to. All right, and this is it for this problem. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. Bye-bye.